Hola! Today I'm going to teach you guys how to use this. This is the brand of vampire teeth that I use for my costumes. This is the Small Sexy Deluxe Vampire Fangs from the brand Scarecrow, which I buy off of vampfangs.com. I will link that in the description bar below, and there will be more information on this on my blog, which is camilleco.wordpress.com. Now, I'm just going to show you how to make them real quick, just so if you guys have never used these before, then you'll have an idea and you won't be scrambling. Or if you don't understand the instructions that they give to you on the back of the package, well then, hopefully you understand it after seeing a demonstration. This is what the packaging looks like. Teeth are in there. It's a little coffin, as you can see. And when you lift this, come on, there you go. Get the teeth. Take off the uh, foam thing here. And this is basically all you're going to need to create the molds for your fangs. You get a stick. It helps to stir as well as put your putty into the teeth. You get a capsule, or you get capsules with an S, plural. They look like drugs, but they're not, which are used for the molding for your fangs so they are custom fit and fit snugly and don't fall off and look realistic blah 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 blah. You get a whole bunch so if you mess up once you get to try again. You get this little travel cap thing a majig. This is where you're gonna put your mixture. You put the capsule in there and you put a few drops of this which is what this is the liquid the special liquid that you use in order to make the molding. This is what you use to put it in. You can use another, you can use another uh, container, but it has to be glass, or I don't remember what it said. But honestly, why would you when they give you this already? You can also use this if you're traveling. Um, if you're taking your fangs with you on the go, you can you can put the fangs in there and literally just bring this, which is awesome. So let's start. So this is basically everything that I need. Instructions. Yes, you need that if you don't know what you're doing. This is my old pair. Looks like this. I feel like my teeth have shifted, which is why I'm making a new pair. Um, you didn't really have to buy new teeth, but whatever, they had a deal, so I picked up some new teeth. It looks kind of gross because <laughs> it poured through, but you're not supposed to cut them off because it helps with the custom fit. These are my old pair. To be honest, uh, I don't want to sound like I'm super vain or anything, but my teeth are really white, I think. And when I wear these, oops, when I wear these, if you can see, if you can even see the color, you won't be able to because the lighting isn't too great. But if you can see the color of them, they're kind of like an off-white, yellowish. It, it's, well, they're trying to make it look as natural as possible, but I find that they're a little bit actually too yellow and they kind of have a brownish tint. So when they're in my teeth, under like good lighting, you can, it's pretty obvious that they're not real. But if, it, if you're in the dark or, you know, it's dim or it's not very bright where you are, um, then it definitely looks so real because of the size as well as it being custom fit. So here we go. These are your teeth. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to do a walkthrough with you. I'm going to show you how I do it. Here's what we're going to do. Traveling case. Pill. So we're just going to break this open. Easiest way I find is if you squish it. Not too hard, obviously. And just kind of like twist it back and forth like this. It opens. And you want to make sure you get all of it so you're not wasting any of the product. Next step. We're going to open this. This little tombstone looking magic liquid that's gonna help make our teeth. So we're gonna open this, ah, twist off. And what you're gonna do, ugh, it got on my hands. It kind of feels like an oil. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our powder. We're gonna mix our powder with about five drops of this. It smells kind of uh, gross, so 
If you're very sensitive to smells, that sucks. <laughs> now I'm just going to mix it. Make sure you get all of the powder in there. And mix this nice and make it into a nice gloppy thing. It looks like this. Can you see it? It's gloppy. You want to make sure it gets really, really, really gloppy before you decide to put it in your tooth thing. All you're going to do, grab some, like this. Okay, and put this down. Take your tooth. Okay, you don't shove it in because you don't want it to go all the way deep in there. You just want to put it here along the walls. So you're just going to scrape it along the edges like this. Like that. Put some on this side. You don't have to use the entire uh, mixture. But I would put enough in there so you'll get an overspill. Because it helps keep the, uh, the tooth snug. So, once you've done that, you're going to stick it in your mouth. You're going to get it in one shot, okay? You can't, you can't, there's no second try. You just got to get it in. And once you get it in, you're going to keep it there for five minutes. So put it on your clock. Or put it on your timer. Okay. Oh, hi, You should be able to take your hand out of your mouth now. And you basically have one side, but it's suctioned onto your tooth. Okay, now the only thing is, I find, when I wear the fangs, it slightly pushes out my lip, and it causes me to, um slur my words or have like a lisp like I'm not easily able to say s words and I only have one fang on right now so if you're going to work in customer service and you feel comfortable having a slur uh, temporarily then by all means go for it I'm just giving you the warning now some people don't really find that they get a slur but I do so yeah no eating no drinking with this on no dos Grace. I almost missed my tooth completely. That's funny. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what you want to do after you got both of them in is wait for another 15 minutes. And this is to really let it harden. So after 15 minutes of having them in your mouth like this, I'll tell you what to do. So basically, once your 15 minutes is done, what you want to do, okay, it's kind of complicated to explain, but you're going to take your bottom teeth and make it look like you have an underbite, basically. So you're going to take your bottom teeth, you're going to knock it against the very, very tip of the tooth until you hear like a click sound, and then you're going to take the tooth and slowly like, kind of pull it off, if that makes sense. In a really, really like gentle sort of way. So. I don't know if you can hear it, but um, just click. And you're just going to pull it off. Kind of gross because I drooled. There's one. Listen, let's see if you can hear it. I'm sure you heard that one, that one was loud. Now what you're going to do is you're going to set these babies aside because they got to dry. Like, yes, you had them in your mouth for a really, really long time, but 15 minutes is not enough to keep these dry and keep them permanent. Not permanent, but like hard to keep its shape. Uh, so you want to keep these, set them aside for 24 hours, um, and then they should be able you should be able to use them over and over and over and over. These are the best vampire teeth I have ever used. I've used quite a few. Um, I won't be able to name brands because I've always gotten them from like department stores and they've just never been up to par to these ones from Vamp Fangs. So I do suggest these ones if you 
are looking to make like a realistic sort of costume or you're planning to use fangs more than once, like more on more than one occasion, more than one night, then I suggest investing in these ones. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the tutorial helped you and um, you'll be able to see these babies in action when I finally do my vampire tutorial. So look forward to that and I will see you guys in my next Halloween tutorial. Bye. Ugh. But you want to make sure, oh sh- Ew, there's a hair. There's a hair on my stick. Okay, it's gone. What does this mean? What does the timer mean? Well, I'ma tell you. You don't have to use the, oh sh- Okay. Yeah, that's why it's good. One side is pointy, the other side is like more of like a rounded off thing. So, after 15 minutes of having them in your mouth like this, I'll tell you what to do. Okay. Bye!